For the last 60 odd years, the transit van and others like it have been the workhorse of Britain. Today, there's about 4 million of them on the UK's roads. But by 2030, they will no longer be available to buy new and battery power will take over. So, to find out if commercial EVs are really up to the job, we've dressed up like the Super Mario Brothers. I like your hat. In fact, I like your khaki colour. It's nice, isn't it? We've picked the latest EVs from two titans of the commercial van sector, Mercedes and VW. And we're going to test them in three key areas. Comfort, load carrying and performance. This is the VW e-Transporter. It's got a 37.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that produces 110 horsepower. And this is the Mercedes E-Vito. It's got a 41 kilowatt hour battery that produces 114 horsepower. Neither of them are particularly cheap, as at just north of 50 grand, they're the best part of 20 grand more than the basic diesel models. What a beautiful day. So, like those prices, our expectations are high. We'll start by looking at how they behave on the road. We're kicking off with the VW. And being a petrol head, Jimmy's first question, well, was pretty predictable. What's its range? Well, well before we get dug into that, yeah. these are designed for a specific purpose in mind, aren't they? They are. Short jobs around town. Which is handy because the range is 82 miles. 82 miles. 82 miles. That isn't great, is it? Yeah, but industry research has discovered that the average distance van drivers cover each day is barely 70 miles. However, if you need to go further, a recharge will take a whopping 45 minutes, which at least, well, it gives you a bit of time to enjoy the VW's cab. What is it like it's to be in here? It's quite, it's basic, isn't it? It's, it's basic. I no sat nav a standard. I'm used to VW having a sort of quite a good quality. This, to me, all feels... It's that, it's that scratchy hard oh, it's horrible. It? When you bring an EV vehicle to market, just up its EV-ness. I want, I want a screen. I want it to be telling me things. I, in saying that, I quite like the fact that it's quiet. It is quiet. Yes, it is quiet, but that's probably because it's also very slow. Come on! Go on! God, it's Go on. slow, isn't it? That it? Look at your range when you did that. We just lost a mile. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost a mile accelerating once. I was expecting torque. Yeah, yeah, because all the EVs that I've driven, they have phenomenal torque. torque. Yeah. In order to preserve what range there is, the power is limited to 75% of its maximum and the top speed to just 56 miles per hour. This lack of oomph can make negotiating busy junctions a hair-raising experience. So, short gaps here, not a lot of room. Quick nip across. Oh, no, see, I don't like it. You can't no, go. I put my foot down, nothing happened. Look, go. Go. Ah! There's that delay. Yeah. I'm amazed it hasn't got any initial response. I'm underwhelmed, Jason. I'm underwhelmed. I am. I am. Will the Mercedes Vito be any better? Well, it certainly had one thing on its side. This is going to blow your mind. 92 miles range in this. What, so you've got 10 more-ish? I mean, in the scheme of things, 10 more miles, percentage-wise, it's like 12% more. It's big. Like the VW, the power output is limited during normal driving, and the top speed is even slower at just 50 miles per hour. Ah, so I've got six on you. You've got six on me, but it's probably that six miles that gets me that sort of yeah, 10 yeah, miles more range, because I can just not go as hard. This lower spec Mercedes is a couple of grand cheaper than the VW, so have they cut any corners in the cab? It's definitely much better, better in interior, for sure. The seats are more comfy, the layout's better. I've got to mention road noise. I think this is, is more. It, it's louder. The Merc will charge from 10 to 80% in just 30 minutes. But how quickly will it accelerate? Ready? I'm going to punch it. Go. Go. I mean, What's I mean, that about? I think this is a little bit better, but a little bit better. It'd be truthful for us to say that we're finding both of these vans a little bit disappointing. Yeah, well, 
For, range is one thing, OK. Yeah. And if it suits your needs, then it suits Fair your needs. Is, yeah. yeah, absolutely. But there's no grunt. There's no, no get no and talk. go. But if you were going to spend a whole day in one, which one would you choose? But I think this one. For me, it's... It's this. noisier. It's noisier, but I just think the surroundings yeah. are slightly more suitable, and it's cleaner. And a smidge more grunt. A smidge more grunt. So, the Merc wins test one, although only just. I reckon White Van Man will be left wanting on performance with both of these. Perhaps things will improve later when we get down to some heavy lifting.